Today I will be showing you how to make a Brickheads inspired Lego Pog. First you will need one orange 2x2, two two, one orange 1x1 one one, or you could just use a 1x3. Secondly you will need a 1x1 one one with the stud on the side and you will need two of these then you'll need a one by three with studs and one one by one nothing on the sides so first to make this you'll get the gray one by one with nothing on the side and put it there oh wait you also need two brickhead size. Then you put the ones with the studs on the sides on either side of the one that has nothing on. Then you put the flat one by two on the top like that. The flat one by one on the top like that. And then the brickhead eyes on the studs. Then you have the head. Now let's move on to the wings. The wings are very simple. All you need are two parts. One, one, four by one, one by four slope piece that's two studs that's two studs high in the middle. Oh. Focus and one, one by two with studs on the top. So, first you flip this upside down and put the one by two in the middle, like so. Then you make two of these and you have the wings. The next part I'm going to do is the torso. So, to make this part, well, the feet, you'll need two orange flippers pieces and three of these slope, of these one by two slopes in white. You'll need one one by two, one, one by one. Again, you could just use a one by three. And you need a, you need a one by one with two studs on the side, a brown T slope, two, white studs Ooh. two one by ones with studs on the side and then a one and then you can make the feet so first thing to do is you arrange all of these like so the two studs in the middle like that and just place these on the floor like that next you connect these onto the one by two like so and then connect that onto two of these and then you do the same with the one by one and the remaining slope Next, with the side ones, you put a stud on each side one by one. Then, you put the flippers underneath the studs, making the feet. And if you turn it around, you can put the cheese slope on the back as a tail. Then, if you move those over there, you have the feet. Next, 
is the torso. This part is quite simple. You need a one by three, again, two one by ones with studs on the side, one black one by one, stud thin, and two white, white one by ones. So first, what you do is, you get the one by three and you put the, um, the one by ones with studs on either side so that the studs are outwards, like so. Next, you put the one by one squares in the middle. Make sure that the black one is on top. Then you have your final piece for the pork. Now all you've got to do is put it together. So first, put the head on top, like so, and you have the little pork body. And then you can add the feet, making sure that they go on correctly, like so. So the feet is that part. And then you add the wings on, making sure that one stud of that is on the white part. And then you do the same with the other wing. And then you have a little Brickheads-inspired pog. Thank you for watching.